This is quite an odd but interesting device. It's a little uh, plug-in power adapter that basically lets you... It's got a USB outlet, plus it's also got a main socket outlet. And I've tried it. Uh, I've run it off 12 volts. Well, let's do it again right now. So let's hook 12 volts up to it. And if I put it on without any load, it's showing at 12 volts, it's showing 73 milliamps. I've tried just stuffing these wires up the end. Actually, you know what? Uh, it's easy enough just to pull this cover off. Well, it was easy enough. There it goes. In fact, when it arrived, it had already uh, popped off in the postage. So let's uh, stuff these wires in here. And I wondered how much power it would actually drive. And it turns out, not a huge amount. The 10 watt LED floodlight pulses on and off, it doesn't quite manage to get there. So uh, actually, let's measure the voltage. Latterly, when I saw that happened, I looked and it, it says here, it uh, fits all kind of mobile phone chargers, but can't be used for another purpose. It's just purely for phone chargers. But yet it's got a USB outlet in the front itself. That's a bit odd. So let's, uh, let's optimistically put this up to 1,000 volts. I do know the output is DC already. It's not AC, which is good, because uh, if it was uh, putting it out, it's got a little switching converter inside. Uh, if it's putting out uh, AC, it would be very high frequency, so it seems to be converting it to DC. So let's uh, get these probes in. And we'll see what voltage this goes up to. Ah, oh, just short of 200 volts. That probably goes down with a modest load though. What can I put on as a load? Uh, these test lamps will do DC. I would expect the voltage to fall, so let's uh, try and fumble these in as well. Oh, this is going to get messy. It really is only, it's not suitable for any loads that require AC at all. Right, the voltage has dropped down to about 50 volt. Oh, no, it's 120 volt. Oh, right, okay, it's showing 100. It's dropped down to 100 with just that load. And it's not a, re it's not a really super high load. So uh, just out of interest, what's the... To drop down to that, uh, the power supply is now showing 200 milliamps at 12 volts. So it's not really... This thing is not really rated all that much power. And I'm guessing it's really just designed to somewhere come somewhere in the uh, the sort of mid range of a little switch mode power supply, the little standard phone charge. I'm looking for a phone charger now, and I'm not seeing one. I'm usually the places I wash with them. Um, nope, I'm not seeing a phone charger in my vicinity right now. That's so odd. Uh, but anyway. Uh, I'm guessing that most uh, switch mode power supplies tend to convert the incoming AC to DC through a bridge rectifier. So all this is doing is, is presenting the DC in the first place to uh, make things simpler. Um, and then, depending on the load the little plug-in power supply puts in, it will just drag the voltage down. But it will stay somewhere probably in the range of about the 100 volt to the um, 240 volt range that most of these universal power supplies operate at. So let's uh, take a wee look inside. Let's short circuit it out first. Let's just bridge that just in case it holds a charge. And we'll take a look at the circuitry. Get this light out of the way. So. It, the transformer in it is tiny, so it really, it's probably only going to be rated, um, well let's see, that it went up to 200 milliamps there at 12 volts, which is, oh, it's really, it's, it's only just a few watts really. It's probably only really suited to a, a charger in the range of about, maybe about uh, 500 milliamps at 5 volts. Oops. These things usually have that little ring.
Oh, right, that's messy. Oh, God, it's got big ball bearings in it as the connection. That's that's the first time I've seen them use ball bearings as the... And they're just held against the side by the spring. That's quite neat. I quite like that, actually. It means it will really roll in and make a good tight connection. I thought this was going to have a fuse in it, but it's not. It's just a sort of plastic spacer wrap. Okay. Let's get the circuit board out. Does it derive the 5 volts for the USB power supply from the same little transformer? It would couldn't because it needs to be regulated. So the USB power supply is going up to, oh, it's going up to that little transistor thing which is a 78L05. That's, that's rated about 100 milliamps best. Oh, that's not really, that's not going to give much much power output in this out, USB output at all. But then again, why have they even got that if the people are going to be plugging their other USB adapters into it? How odd. Um, so this transistor here, which is a TIP 31C, uh, that's, a gen is that a, that's not a Darlington, is it? It's a ge generic transistor. Must be forming an oscillator with this um, transformer here. And that one output goes straight to one of these connections. It's actually referenced to the negative supply here. And the other output goes through a diode to this capacitor, Chong X or Chang X, or just Chang actually, which is rated 2.2 megfarad, 400 volts. So that's the capacitor that's doing the smoothing of the output for the... So that is just putting out DC. Is there a discharge resistor across it? Because it seemed to go down quite quickly. Oh, well, they've doubled up. They've got a resistor. Is that brown, black, yellow? 100k? Uh, and this LED. That's That resistor's going to be dissipating a modest amount of power. So the resistor and LED are actually the discharge circuit as well as the indicator to show it's on. And that's fundamentally it. There's really not much to it. I was expecting something more complicated. I was expecting something like a Royer oscillator or something like that and maybe even putting out high frequency AC which would have been just bad news for LED lamps and things. But uh, So this would only, it would drive it would potentially drive things like LED lamps that have a switch mode power supply in them, stuff like, you know, this sort of lamp. Um, but it wouldn't drive any of the ones with the capacitive dropper type circuitry in them. Um, but uh, yeah, it's odd that they've put this really low current USB output there. Plus these, because if you plugged your phone to charge into that, that little 78L05 would get hot very quickly because um, it, it's a linear regulator. It, it doesn't actually, it's not a switch mode regulator. It would just be dropping, you know, if you drew 100 milliamps, you'd be getting 5 volts out, but from the 12 volts, you'd be getting about 700 milliwatts would be dissipated in this, which is just going to make it very hot very quickly. It's a very, very odd little circuit, but, uh, but quite interesting nonetheless, but uh, really limited, very, very strange. Okay, I didn't notice before, it says it's apparently rated to 24 volt. I think we should give that the full test. So, here it is running on 12 volt. It's putting out 200, uh, well actually it's 13.8 volt. It's putting out 200 volts. So let's crank it up to... I think that LED and resistor is also acting as a sort of shunt that the higher the voltage goes, the more current it passes. So now we're up to 18... 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Let's whack it right up to the top, in fact. Okay, so it's now up to about, it's still within the 240 volt range of the, uh, let's stick the test lamps across, put a load in it. Voltage drops to 147. 180, 190, 200, we're covering a wee bit. Current drawn is about 100 milliamps. It's... Yeah, it's interesting. I wonder what this would actually do. Uh, I wonder uh, what have I got as a, a lamp load here. 
to stick something on that's fairly beefy. Hold on. Let's stick a 3 watt lamp across the output. Oh, it's lighting it. It's drawing 177 milliamps at the 27 volts. And the voltage is still holding up quite well. What an odd little circuit. I, I'm not 100% sure what to make of this. That's just... It's got its uses. The, the strange... You know, it's even worse. That, that 27 volts... The, the T092 package here for that little 5 volt regulator for this USB port is, I mean, it's going to dissipate all the excess voltages, whatever current you're drawing is going to be as heat. So if that's 27 volts, that's going to be drawing, if you're, say, 100 milliamps again, if you're running it at the 27 volts, uh, that's going to be a couple of watts of power dissipation. That's ridiculous. It's not going to do that. It's odd. But uh, the other side of the circuitry actually seems to hold up quite well. Let's uh, give it the sniff test and see if it smells hot and unpleasant. Oh, actually it does. Smell like something's been getting warm. Uh, but nothing really visible. Uh, it's, it's odd. I don't even know what to make of that. I'm not 100% sure what its main application is. It's just an odd little thing that just made because they could. It's very strange. 